Dan Campbell still feels that Jared Goff is the best chance for us to win. Let's talk about it. Hello, everyone. My name is Derek, and welcome back to the Gridiron Blitz. On this channel, you get predominantly Detroit Lions content with some NFL and college live streams as well. So if you like that type of thing, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and ring the notification bell. You can check out Detroit Lions Syndicate, my other channel. Uh, we just hit 100 subscribers over there, so thank you guys so much, where it's nothing but Detroit Lions. It's an algorithm thing, so that's why I decided to start a new channel. The Detroit Lions are a really hard team to peg because just when you think that they're not in it, they keep on fighting and, and fall short. Well, in Dan Campbell's press conference today, he was asked about uh, the kicker position. And our kicker is hurt, Austin Seibert. And we had Santoso as the backup. And he's all but out of Detroit after two missed field goals yesterday that essentially cost us the game, a, a missed field goal and a missed extra point. The Detroit Lions are looking for a kicker. So they are going to bring in some kickers. And Dan Campbell's words in a nutshell is they're going to stick with the person who is the best at that position. So probably won't be Santos. Now to put that in perspective, Gonzalez, who played for the Carolina Panthers and then played for us in the preseason, uh, hit mad kicks yesterday. So there goes that. I didn't think he was that good, but okay. When asked about Jared Goff, it's two hot topics now in the city. One is the NFL draft, like it always is for Detroit Lions fans. And in light of that, we're talking about Jared Goff. Will the Detroit Lions take a quarterback? And it still feels like that Dan Campbell is pro Goff. He says that there are some th throws that he could make, but we're, we're not giving him the right protection. So I don't know if he's making excuses for JG at this point. Uh, but JG looks anything like not only a first overall pick, but the quarterback that he was with the L.A. Rams. So it's going to be kind of critical to see how we do this thing moving forward. When it comes to Jamar Jefferson, uh, he said that the injury was not as bad as it appeared to be yesterday, but it could take him out for a week or more. So look for more Godwin, Igubuke to step up, and we might even get a Craig Reynolds sighting because we're not sure Jamal Williams will be back for this Sunday's game against the Browns. It would be kind of neat to see him back. I need him for my fantasy team, but it would be good because he's that in-between-the-tackles runner. But we saw that with DeAndre Swift yesterday. The Detroit Lions ran the ball 39 times. I think they had more rushes than Jared Goff had pass attempts, and that is they did a really good job running the ball. And we also did something that I didn't hear anybody talk about in the legacy media yesterday. And we had our first 100-yard rusher since Kerryon Johnson did it in 2018. So that was a real good thing to see, especially kind of coming off a week where DeAndre Swift was not used that much. And we were wondering, could he be the number one back? And he showed yesterday that, hey, don't get it twisted. I was drafted this high for a reason, and I can provide that for this team so look for DeAndre Swift hopefully to get more carries uh, as the season progresses we didn't see any Josh Reynolds because Dan Campbell didn't want to rush him into the lineup said he was good for a couple of plays but he really wanted to give him more time and his words were he didn't want to throw him to the wolves so I did like that I mean he could have played probably would have helped out a lot especially with being with Jared Goff's injury I'm sure we'll see Josh Reynolds in the coming weeks as soon as this week, to be honest. So I talked about this on my other channel. Uh, make sure you guys check it out. Link is in the description, Detroit Lions Syndicate. And that is, how much of this blame do you put on Dan Campbell? Now, we've been focusing primarily on Jared Goff. And I feel like Jared Goff is Sam Bradford 2.0. It's ironic that Sam Bradford was drafted first overall in 2010 by none other than the LA Rams, who six years later are done with him and take Jared Goff and... A couple years after that are done with Jared Goff and trade for Matthew Stafford. But I think that Jared Goff is on his way to be Sam Bradford 2.0. When he leaves the Detroit Lions, he will no longer be a starting quarterback playing like he's playing now. I see him being a backup uh, clipboard holding quarterback on his next team. And if he keeps playing like this, he will be out of the league in the next five years. But how much of this do you put on Dan Campbell when the Steelers began to really you know, locked down on the run, then Jared Goff should have passed more. But Jared Goff was injured. So how do you feel that Jared Goff is still our best chance to win if he's injured and can't throw the ball? A lot of fans, he didn't look any different than he's looked in past weeks, not going long, missing short passes and such. But in his defense, he was injured. That falls on the coach. The coach has to pull him out, has to put in a quarterback that will not make this team 
one dimensional. So Jared Goff was responsible for zero turnovers yesterday. As a matter of fact, the Detroit Lions as a whole had no turnovers, but were plus three, causing a, an interception and two fumbles on one that basically made this game a tie instead of a loss. So I've got to put a lot of this on Dan Campbell. I think, honestly, this was the first game that I really do have to put on him. Jared Goff was injured early in the first quarter, could have brought in David Blau, still relied heavily on the run, and then been able to air it out. If you notice, none of the play action worked at all because they knew, the Steelers knew that Jared Goff was not going to pass the ball, but would it really have mattered? Because I think they would have known that anyway. So leave it in the comments below. What do you think of Dan Campbell's job? Also, check me out on uh, the Lions Nation Unite app. Just joined up maybe about a month ago. Haven't really been pushing it, but now I'm going to start that. So check out me and a bunch of other creators are on there as well. So check that out. Follow me over there and leave your comments in the comment section below. My name is Derek. This is the Gridiron Blitz. Lions fans just hang in there one day. One day Aaron Rodgers will leave this division one day we'll win a game and one day hopefully soon we will win the nfc north you guys are awesome enjoy your day and i'll see you in the next video